We'll go back to News 11 at 7. Missouri Republicans are another step closer to making it harder for voters to amend the state's constitution. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains the legislation approved by representatives today. It seems to be the topic debated over and over and over again here in the state capitol. The initiative petition process is how voters legalized recreational and medical marijuana. Those in favor of this legislation say that it protects the state's constitution, while those on the other side say that it takes away the voice of the people. I am confident if this gets through, our voters are going to tell us once again, our voice matters, listen to us, and they're going to vote this down. It's a Republican priority, increasing the number of votes needed to approve a constitutional amendment. We are giving the opportunity for the citizens to make a decision whether this is right or wrong. Currently, to approve a referendum, it takes a simple majority, more votes for than against. This legislation would require a simple majority statewide and also a majority in five of the eight congressional districts. Mr. Speaker, as we've indicated before, recreational marijuana passed with the approval of 15 of Missouri's counties, 13 percent. Democrats say this push by GOP members is only to thwart an effort by a group circulating a petition to ask voters later this year if abortion rights should be enshrined in the state's constitution. This is about reproductive freedom, which this body took away, and it's about taking away our vote to restore reproductive freedom in the state of Missouri. The proposal includes what some opponents call ballot candy to trick voters who have the final say in this legislation. Their idea that they're putting forward to voters they know will lose. So they have to entice them by trying to confuse them. Similar legislation without the so-called ballot candy passed the Senate earlier this year. And now with the legislation headed over to the upper chamber, leadership wants to prevent chaos. We try to avoid that under all circumstances. So depending on what comes back to us, we will try to work out something that we can get done without that kind of an action. Now, that language that some are calling ballot candy that voters would see on the ballot if this legislation is approved by the General Assembly would ask if only U.S. citizens should be allowed to vote on constitutional amendments, something that's already a qualification to vote in Missouri. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.